So right now there's a conversation about why God of War Ragnarok is not selling as well as other games in its category. If you take a very good look at God of War 2019, if you look at its concurrent player base and its potential sales estimates, that game really did well on PC. There's no doubt about that. I mean, check this out, you know, 73,000 or so. And, you know, I mean, wonderfully, you know, in terms of sales, almost 5 million copies on PC. If you look at Rag if you look at Ragnarok right now, Ragnarok is literally, you know, close to half in terms of its all time peak. And they're estimating about a hundred and so thousand, uh, you know, copies. I think a lot of PC players are going to buy it on sale. Don't get me wrong. However, there is a huge competitive pressure going on. Those of you that are PlayStation fans, I've told you that if PlayStation is going to bring its games to PC, it might as well bring it day one. All this talk about, oh, well, it's going to make it. What reason should people buy PlayStation? Like, dude. People who are already playing on PC already know they have no reason to buy a you know, PlayStation. Does that make sense? It's not like we're even saying Xbox at this rate. It's just that PlayStation needs the money and they need to be able to compete in a healthy way. If they cannot do that in a healthy way, they can never reach these amounts of sales that you're seeing in a game like Black Myth Wukong. That's crazy that Black Myth Wukong has already outclassed God of War and it only sold on PC. Imagine the amount of sales PlayStation can actually get from a game like this, because most PlayStation players have already sworn that they're not going to go to PC. They have no need to do so. They are dedicated to playing on PlayStation. Some of them even have PCs and can play the game on PCs and will still buy the game on PlayStation. I saw a streamer the other day or a, a content creator and streamer. They were talking about how Black Myth Wukong was just you know, not a good experience on the PlayStation, that there were frame drops everywhere because they were doing a stream where they wanted to beat the game. And the game had a lot of issues. The game has issues, too, on PC. But for the most part, you can mitigate those issues with a powerful PC. And I'm sure the streamer has access to a powerful PC. But he decided to play on PlayStation, which shows that a lot of people are dedicated to playing where they feel like playing. Another challenge, too, that has to be pointed out is another game like Space Marine, you know, part two is out. And then, you know, just a, a plethora and a host of games that third party developers bring to the table. PlayStation games are not really that special as much as people want to make them seem so special. Since Elden Ring came out, you know, a lot of developers have been putting in a lot of work. They, they've they've upped their game or they've re upped their game because their games, you know, many developers are already doing good. It's not a matter of, uh, you know, one of these, you know, these crazy incidents where, ah, you know, developers are all just sucking. And, you know, there was a year like that where things were just so wild. But after, you know, after 20, uh, you know, 2021 and Elden Ring, it was insane. Uh, was it 21 or 22? I can't remember. It was like February or March or whatever it is. And so at the end of the day, these competitive stresses are now a big thing for, you know, gamers across the world. And seeing how PC has basically the bigger gamer base when you compare it to PlayStation, when you compare it to even all of the individuals, then, you know, you kind of, you know, you kind of have to say to yourself, other publishers are going to stay super competitive and bring their games day one on those platforms. Another thing, too, is God of War Ragnarok, you know, a lot of people have seen and heard of it, and there have been mixed reactions on it. That's just one thing, but that's a subjective player experience. Some players like it. Some players don't like it. Some players thought it wasn't as good as 2018, and I think so, too. That doesn't mean it's the same way for everybody. Everyone's got their own different preferences. If you get, you know, if you get what I mean. And here's what's even crazy about it all. The, the whole conversation right now about the PlayStation login is something that a lot of PC players take into account. Now, not only do you need a PSN login, some people don't have a PSN login and they don't want to have a PSN login. So they're going to be like, eh, not going to touch it. I've also seen people bragging about actually pirating it. That's another thing that you're going to see on PC, because according to, you know, Gabe Newell, and I'm not justifying piracy. I don't pirate games. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and pirate a game. You guys already watch my videos and, you know, most of you already fight me in the comment section enough for the algorithm to boost my channel. So I could just simply buy the game if I actually want to play it. So, but the crazy thing is a lot of these folk are basically here pirating the game and they're citing Gabe Newell who said, you know, piracy is not a price problem. It's a service issue. PlayStation doesn't really want to serve the PC audience without getting anything out of it. In fact, there are news articles reporting that they want those PlayStation logins to be able to, you know, boost their numbers in terms of active users for the sake of shareholders. They're not really concerned about the sales at this point. The game has already made its money back. Does that make sense? So now what they want to do is they want to bring these PC ports and they want to use it to pretty much add, you know, 
you know, say more users to their catalog and track those users in a way that they can show shareholders. But a lot of people on PC are going, why would I pay you full price for a game that's already old? Why would I ignore other games that are available for me to play on the platform in order for you to basically take my data, run my computer with your big fat SDK taking, according to a picture that I saw in terms of looking at your task manager, about 20% of my CPU usage. Let me show you the picture right now. Somebody opened their task manager and you can see the PlayStation SDK running. And this already is just not a good rep for anything. So pretty much the the whole thing about the, you know, the game setup and all absolutely not fun for anybody who wants to play it on PC. So I can see a lot of PC players probably looking and saying, nah, we're not going to deal with this. We'll wait for it to come on good old games when they're all, you know, all good and and ready for us to basically play their game or we don't play the game at all. I've, I've seen a lot of people just say they're not going to play a game. I mean, that's how life is. You know, if you don't want to play a game, you don't play the game. So I think these challenges will continue to face PlayStation as they come on PC if they don't actually go the PC route. And then another thing, too, is with the PlayStation account, too, it's region. Uh, you know, it, it actually locks the game out of specific regions around the world, which is actually a big deal. I mean, think about it. If, you know, you can't play the game, even if you wanted to sign in and get a PSN account, you can't play the game. They, they, they seem to not want you to play the game because you're in some region based on, I don't know what it is, some legality, but they could let you play the other God of War game. So again, continuing to lock out regions you know, from their games also doesn't help at all because of the PlayStation requirements. So what they need to do is they need to restructure their PC uh, you know, business. They need to make it very PC-like. They cannot try to bring the same console experience to PC. Ask anybody. Ask anybody that's been doing it for a minute. Ubisoft and EA, it's a whole different experience when you actually come to a, you know, a platform like this because your player base is a very different player base and the services that they're used to getting is a very different kind of service. But anyways, I thought this was pertinent. I just whacked my microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, to the reason that God of War Ragnarok is not seeing as much sales as God of War 2018 did. And I guess, you know, there may, there may be other factors that I didn't talk about. But here are some of the things that I'm seeing. And I think they're, you know, worth taking a look at. All right. I'm going to get out of your hair. Thanks so much for watching the video. Appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.